Okay, well, first of all, I just want to say, you know, I congratulate uh, Washington. They played hard. They played really well uh, and obviously gave us everything we can handle. But I'm really proud of our team. We made the plays down the stretch, especially defensively and, and uh, also at the offensive end. It certainly wasn't our best game tonight, um, but it's a Pac-12 win. And that, in the end, is what matters. So, yeah, let's go. For Taya, we drew a few things up for her. We have some specials built in, and I thought we executed them pretty well. She saved our butt tonight. I thought Taya was great. And uh, that second half, and certainly in the fourth quarter, she, uh, she was money. So we needed her. We needed every one of them. Huge is obviously her finish was. Do you think they appreciate what the opposite would have been? That obviously you're riding the high here of the win and pulling it off. But if it didn't go that way, if she didn't close But it, it didn't, so I don't worry about that. Why, why worry about something that just didn't happen? We just won the game, and I'm happy. It wasn't our best, and, you know, I, I know we probably were supposed to have beaten them worse, but they're a good team. Hey, every team's a good team. So if we win by one or 41, it's the same. It counts the same in the standings, actually. I checked that out. Outlier of a game for, for Rodgers. It looked like she might have jammed her finger or something early in that first – or, excuse me, the first period. I mean, do you know if that affected her at all? I have no idea. I know she made 24 straight free throws and then just missed four in a row. So, um, you know, that doesn't happen very often. So that's an aberration. I don't know. And when she got I don't. I haven't checked on him. Yeah, I have. Haven't checked on him. I come straight here. It made it so difficult to, to create any separation. A couple times you guys pushed it eight or ten, and they they came right back. We'll yeah, I think uh, some defensive lapses, but um, yeah. That was a good win, you guys. So, you know, we can – we, again, I already said we weren't our best, and, uh, but I always credit the, the other team. I thought Washington played really well, and they're tough. We knew that going in. Uh, but I thought defensively we were on point tonight. What they end up shooting from the field, 41, yeah, that's actually not bad. We did a better job at the three-point line. We didn't foul that much. So, you know, some of those, those were some of the good things that we did. Contribution from Grace. Is that about what you hoped was? Yeah. You guys, she was literally a game time decision. So we put in four starters until at the 15 minute mark. We went in when I were when we have to give a fifth one, and that's when we decided to play her. And that was her decision. It was the trainer's decision. I was the last to know, but I'm glad that she did because we needed her, and I thought she played pretty well under the circumstances. So good for her. To Taya, I guess, just you guys have so many different scoring options, and, and the fact that somebody off the bench ends up being the players hitting maybe the biggest shots of, of the game. Yeah. Confidence boost for her, but also just kind of maybe a realization for the team that you guys do have. I know maybe not the first opportunity to understand that, but you do have other options to go when NDA has it. No like doubt. This. Yeah, he wouldn't, is not going to have many games like this, and she hasn't. I mean, obviously leads the Pac-12 in scoring and has a tough night, and we were still able to overcome it. But, yeah, Taya, you know, is a fifth-year player, that grad transfer. Uh, this is what we expected of her, and she came through when we needed it most, and that's what you, you want out of a, you know, a fifth-year senior like that. It's pressing a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, she just needs to see that ball get through the hoop a little. But, yeah, you know, typical freshman. They're gonna, it's going to come and go. She's had great games, and she's, you know, um, struggled from time to time. But she always plays good defense, and, and she um, defended really well tonight, I thought. When, even when Taylor doesn't really show up in the stat sheet, she kind of brings energy to the floor. Can you speak on that a little bit? Yeah, well, that's that's her role on the team, you know, just get us extra possessions here and there. Um, you know, we're okay defensively when she's on the floor because then we can, uh, you know, switch a lot more screens. Uh, I thought Taylor did a, you know, did a good job certainly in the second half uh, tonight. Yeah, that's what she does for us. That's that's her role. Why was this maybe a tougher matchup for a, for a Philly or a Kennedy? The minutes are probably down for your your true centers. They don't have a center. They don't have a center. So, and we didn't do a good enough job. We tried to, but then kept turning it over. You know, our turnovers right now, we got to fix that. I don't know. Um, I don't know really what it's from. I think sometimes we're a little too unselfish. We get too deep, um, and we're not the most athletic at the guard line. And so sometimes we struggle in the paint to make the right pass. So uh, we've got to clean that up. We're not going to beat good teams when uh, with 16 turnovers. It's too many. We're, what, 13th in the country in fewest turnovers. And, um, but they keep going up and up and up. We've got to get better at it. 
the challenge is that when Philly's not on the floor, that because you guys are so reliant on her and rebounding that everybody defaults to her, and then when there's a loose ball, nobody goes for it. James, we've uh, actually addressed that. And we've talked about that. And it, was, it hurt us the other night late in the Arizona game. You were down there. Four ducks around the ball and no Wildcats. But they, we all kind of looked at each other. And then she just, the Wildcat went in and got it, dished it off to Reese. And now we're down two points in a you know in the last minute or so. And that happened tonight. We just all kind of looked around. So we've addressed it. I don't, you know, we've got to do better. Do better. What, what does Washington State pose? Obviously, Charlize is someone who we've seen now for a couple of years, and she's playing really well since coming back. But Yeah, the premier player there. in the conference. Yep, we're going to have to defend her with five players. We're going to have to scheme well, and we're going to have to play really, really hard. Uh, I thought we played hard tonight. We had, uh, obviously, that one letdown, that little nine-point run of theirs. But, uh, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a, a, a challenge ahead of us. She's really good. And they have other pieces. I, I think uh, Cammy does an awesome job. I think they maximize uh, their potential each and every night. That's what I like most about them. That's a team that understands who they are individually, and they play to their strengths. So we got to somehow figure out how to make them play to some of their weaknesses. It's going to take all of us. Do you wish it was a little bit less thrilling tonight, Kelly? Don't these games show that? the value of competition in this league for teams who are even amid rebuilds willing to play games in this league when it may not necessarily suit them? Yeah, well, that's the benefit of being in the Pac-12. That's why we have the best record in the NCAA tournament over the last uh, however many years. We, like, lap the second best conference because it's a dogfight every night. I mean, I know where Washington was picked to finish. That means jack squat when you're out there playing. So it took everything we had to win, but we won. And I'm going to stay happy, and I'm going to enjoy it tonight and let you guys uh, pick it apart, as we will too. I mean, I'm going to watch a lot of film tonight, but we've got to turn our attention to that next game, and that's the Cougars. And uh, they're going to come in here guns a-blazing with nothing to lose. Anytime you're on the road, man, you, you win that first game, you're playing with house money in the second because everybody wants to get a split, and they've at least guaranteed that. So hopefully we can uh, send them home with one.